That is toast. It's gone. I'm gonna have to take my gloves off. <laughs> People are like, why don't you wear your gloves? I'm like, because <laughs> you almost look like a pig pig. Hey guys, and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. I have an exciting series we are calling Teach a Farm Girl. So let's go and see what I'm gonna learn today. I'll find a way to let you know With you I'd like to take it slow Reach out your hand and I'll give you mine What's mine is yours Yours is mine, I know We'll take it slow Hey guys, and welcome back. We are at a cow farm, and we are here with... Ken, Sam. Kathleen, Sam. And this is our farm, K&H... Grain. Grain. So, they do grain and they do cows. So, Ken, how long have you been farming? Over 35 years, probably. 35 years, and this is your family farm? Yep, we and what? It from our parents in 96. So what generation farmer are you? Probably fourth. Oh, okay. And then that would make you fifth generation. Yeah, yeah apparently. So are you planning to uh, take over later on? Um, It's really kind of one of those things, so we'll see where it takes us. I would like to take over the farm, but there's also my cousins and my sisters. Oh. Maybe we can do like a joint thing, like what my uncle and my dad did or something. Like there you that. go. So, like the next generation could be female farmers. Oh yeah. No, no problem. With that. <laughs> so, what is your primary product? We're about two thirds grain and one third beef and beer. Yep. So, so now, about one third and two thirds. So. Do you guys take the cows to market, or do you sell them uh, privately to individuals? Uh, we do a few privately, but we most, mostly to market, like uh, Lake Odessa or Rivanna. Oh, okay, yeah. And now the grains that you guys grow here is corn, soybeans, you grow wheat too? Yeah, or? Yep. Oh, okay. And the wheat will go to Lowell, the King Milling. Oh, oh, yeah. Actually, I'm supposed to do an interview with King Milling, but I'm trying to wait until it is harvest season. So I want to get those trucks rolling in so you can show it from the truck all the way into the flower bag. Our corn mostly we sell the different feed mills around here. Oh, okay. Feed mill. Probably a third of it we feed ourselves. Oh, okay. Oh, now, how many acres do you guys run? Probably 1,800, 2,000 in that area. So 1,800 to 2,000 acres. Yep. Now, would you consider yourself to be a small farmer, medium farmer, big farmer, or? Medium to big. I okay. guess I guess now we're kind of like medium. So. Okay. Good stuff. So it's just all of you guys, the Foley family run farm. Yeah, I do book bookkeeping, mechanic work, and like all the spraying and stuff in the ground. Oh, okay. And then my brother does all the planting. He takes care of the cattle and all the planting. In the now, do you guys work off the farm too, or do no. you work full time on the farm? Wow, that is very impressive. So let's take a look at how they're going to feed their cows today. It's just a mixture of corn, soybean, soybean meal. So corn, and soybean, distiller's grain, yep, and, and vitamins and minerals. So do you guys mix this yourself or yeah. do you send your stuff in and somebody mixes it for no, you? We, we buy the mineral with the distiller's grain. But then we mix it oh, okay, so you mix it all yourself? Yep. Now is this all stuff that you've grown yourself too? Yeah. Yep. And you guys seem to like it, huh? black one is my steer Willie. I'll show him at fair. Holy and cow, he's so fuzzy. Look at his little fuzzy butt. I know, he's a cute one. He's the hairiest one that I've ever had before. He's wow, and what kind of breed, is that a black Angus? 
No, he is actually um bred. He is considered low percent Simmental, but I always show him oh. it's like AORB, any other registered breed, but. He's a cross of a couple different things. Okay, that looks like a cross of a jersey. Is, do I have that right? She does or, not have any jersey in her. I show she? her as a maintainer. She might have a little bit of Charlize in her, just oh. with her look, but yeah, she's registered as a maintainer. So are both of these full grown, or are they babies right now? No, they're just like, I would call them that they're in their teenager years right now. They're like preteen, teenager years. How, how old are they? They were born in like March, April, so how many months is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> like some bad time. Nine months old, I think. I did my math right. You know, I actually read that the cow's spine is more accurately designed to be able to carry a rider than a horse spine. Really? And so the question is, why are people not riding cows instead of horses? What do you think your thoughts are? I feel like maybe horses are easier to like get in a certain way because sometimes cattle they get in their head that they don't want to do something they won't do something the stubbornness like, factor yeah <laughs> look at that little face you look like a little bear dog like a cross between a black bear and a black lab oh look at you all right so what are you gonna be feeding your cows today i am feeding this feed i actually get this from the co-op i don't have it like my dad doesn't make it but to blend this is a lot this is considered their show feed so it's a little bit pricier and a little bit not fancier but a little bit fancier than like the stuff that we make at the farm as oats corn cottonseed pellets in it cottonseed and then you're just minerals and everything oh okay so probably a little bit higher protein a little bit higher fat I'd be a little nervous to come up and eat with me around too. Nick's like, uh, I'm not hungry. Watch my figure. You almost look like a pig. pig. Cause it, I mean, it's an open barn, but I mean, I could definitely tell a temperature increase in here. I know I'm really hot. I don't know if it's from walking that thing over, but no, it's it's warm in here. I don't. I'm surprised. I don't know. No, it's fine. It gets really warm too when we have that door down and like. Oh all yeah. The and everything shut. All right, so we're going to make some milk replacer. So and this is for the but we have how many cows? calves we have here four we have four in here and then we have two outside and then two in that one bar that you were just in oh, okay so are they all getting a milk replacer or just these guys all of them and then there's a pen of the 4-h pen that's what we call it there's a barn over there two at the bales in front of it and they have three cats in there okay and these ones back here just get some hot water so oh we'll make it up. all right sounds good yeah, it's all cold at first. We have to let it get warm up. Oh, because it's an on-demand water heater? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So it makes it nice. Since the milk's cold and the cows don't want to eat it, it's just nice to pour them. Yeah, I would agree. I, I don't think I'd be a fan of cold coffee on a cold day either. <laughs> now I'll just bring this. Just I'll check. I like to use it for water. There you go. Now, how old are these guys right here? These ones, uh, two months old, I'd say. Okay. Some of them actually are from October, so three months. Oh, okay. These ones were actually weaning right now, so eventually oh. they won't be getting any like hot water, milk replacer, or anything. Oh, okay. Grab a couple buckets from out here. They know that. <laughs> I 
you're hungry or young. Milk room. That's where we keep our feed. Or our milk this is replacer. okay. This is the milk replacer. Mm -hmm. So it's just like once you put it in water, and I already got some buckets of water right here. But a scoop in. So now, is this made from milk, or what's what's it made from? Because like yeah. infant formula is made from cow milk, and so is cat milk formula, and dog formula. So is cow formula made from cow milk? I think so. Or is it made from Makes horse sense. milk? I think it's made from cattle milk. <laughs> Honestly, it's bad. I don't know, but I'll mix them up. I'm pretty sure that's made from cattle milk. I've never looked it up. I was just curious. I would assume because. So now we have the milk. I know, that clip is hard oh, it's so big. Here you go, buddy. Let me pet him. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so hungry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, do they get uh, food besides the milk, or is this just what they're eating? Like, <laughs> they do. We have, uh, well, like, he ate all of this, but. We have grain that we feed them. So oh, okay. This is what we call oat feed. We make this here on the farm too. When they're younger, these are all pretty old calves. So we give them sweet feed. That's one that we get from like the co-op. Cause it's got a little bit more minerals. Better starter for them, but yep. We okay. get this, they get this all through the day. <laughs> Boy, it doesn't take them very long, does it? Oh my goodness, you're all going. They drink. That is toast. It's gone. These guys are getting some grain? Mm-hmm. They're both pretty empty, so I'll get them some new grain. Okay. We have an audience looking for dinner. They like to eat like all the corn sometimes. Sometimes I like walk over to one of our barns or like one of these and if we have the sweet feed, they eat like all the minerals and the protein out of it or they eat wow. the out of it. In you go. Oh, that's kind of a nice little setup. Look at that. How nice and warm and cozy. That's nice when it rains or anything. Then we just shut those lids where they open up. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner served. Now the fun part, rinsing all the buckets. Oh, oh, because you're all done. There like we go. Rinse all the buckets, make sure that they all stay clean and everything. Yeah. Keep the animals healthy. Clean and healthy. So we have to grab these buckets too. Mm. I'm gonna have to 
take my gloves off. <laughs> People are like, why don't you wear your gloves? I'm like, because... <laughs> Because the gloves get stuck on everything. I know, I never wear gloves out here. I should, but I'm so It's tough. I mean, there are definitely times where you're like, oh yes, this is great. But then it's like trying to maneuver. You want these off too? I just remembered that I have to feed the 4-H or the pen over there too, so I'm gonna start getting water. Okay, so. I'll pull these off. Oh, your hand is mouth is so warm. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You gonna wash the buckets too? You're gonna pre-treat them. <laughs> she looks, yeah, she looks Come on, clip. Oh, that was easier. It is. It's huge. But it's a glove. Right. It's better than a wire. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do we wash them? Do we just rinse them out? Do you switch some dish soap mm -hmm. or? We just get some hot water with them. Oh, and okay. Just put them in. Switch them around. Yeah. Those yeah. Are actually really Whoa. You're so hungry. Oh, there's three of you. Oh, hey guys, if you're digging the hat, I've got a link in the description down below. All the farmers only merchandise. Farmersonly.com in the description down below. Check it out. Check out the sweatshirt. Also, link in the description for the WT Farm Girl merchandise. Plays well with tractors. Super soft sweatshirts. Get it in the merch store. Be there. So, do you have any last advice for anyone else looking to get into cows? I don't know. I'd say just have fun with it. AQ, there are tough days. I'm just gonna tell ya. Some days are hard. Some days you see things that you don't want to see, but Honestly, I would not trade it for the world. It is amazing. I love cattle. I hope that I stay with cattle all throughout my life. Just have fun with it. <laughs> and that's the key with a lot of this, is just have fun. Thanks, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this interview. It was so nice to meet you, Kathleen. Yeah, it was nice to meet you, too. Until next time, guys. Take care. Bye.
say you're drawing soybeans right yeah. now? Yeah, don't do it many years, but this year worked out pretty good tonight. So when did you harvest uh, the soybeans? We started mid-October. And, but oh, we, only had, we only had like a week of dry soybeans and then right. in November. We did November almost to Christmas. November almost to Christmas. Yeah. So the ones that you're drying right now, when were they harvested? Anywhere within a six week period. Oh, okay. They really wet. 20%. Okay. So there's... One down to 13%. Right. How long will they store in the bin before they start to rot? They were cold. No less than a few months. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, what, what is this big bin for right here? That is that corn. That's corn? Yep, that's pretty much cold, so. Wow, that's huge. And then the other smaller bins are for soybeans and wheat? Uh, wheat corn. We got corn in one. Oh, okay. Yeah, wheat. Oh. We usually don't store any wheat in the wintertime. Get rid of all. Gotcha, get rid of the wheat, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. Thanks again. Yep.